This is the fourth part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. Previously, I have set up the computational domain and mesh controls. In this part, I will show you the setting of CFD models. The first thing to do is to specify the working fluid to be simulated in the engine. In our example, the working fluid refers to the gas mixture within the combustion chamber, that is, fuel, air, as well as any intermediate species and products from combustion. I also want to specify the chemistry mechanism used for combustion. To do this, go to Chemistry and select Import Chemistry. Here, I want to import a standard ANSYS Chemkin Pro chemistry set file from the data folder under the Forte installation directory. The chemistry set file.cks is very comprehensive that it includes all the compositions of the working fluid, all their thermal property data, and all the chemical reactions to be considered. In this example, I use a popular and simple unheptane mechanism to simulate diesel combustion. Unheptane is used to model diesel fuel because their chemical reactivities are similar. After the import, you can view gas phase output to see which species are included in the working fluid. And also what chemical reactions are considered. In setting up flow transport, I use the RUNS RNG K epsilon model to simulate turbulence. This is a well established turbulence modeling approach for engine CFD simulation. In Forte, other turbulence models such as large eddy simulations are also available. In addition to chemistry and flow transport, spray models are important in this case because fuel injection is used to control the start of combustion in diesel engine. After activating the spray model option, I need to specify a fuel injector. There are several fuel injector options available. Hollow cone spray injector, solid cone spray injector, slit injectors, and so on. We select the solid cone spray injector because diesel fuel injector has straight cylindrical nozzle holes that produce solid cone spray pattern. Now in the injector options, I need to specify the fuel first. Specifically, what are the compositions in the fuel? And for each component, what is the species representing its chemical reactivity and the physical properties? In terms of chemical species, in this example, since we are using N-heptane to model diesel fuels when considering chemical reactions, add species and select N-heptane from the working fluid. However, for the physical properties, choose n tetradecane because it has close liquid density, viscosity, and surface tension coefficient compared to those of diesel. This is essentially a single component surrogate model for diesel, so I'm specifying 100% mass fraction. You can certainly choose more advanced surrogate fuel model, which includes more components. To briefly summarize, I have set up the working fluid species, thermal data, and chemical reaction mechanism by importing a chemistry set file. I also select a runs turbulence model for flow transport. I have started setting up the spray models by specifying the fuel to be injected into the combustion chamber. 
In the next part, I will continue introducing the settings of the spray models. This concludes the fourth part of the demonstration.